Hello everyone, my name is Mike. In this video, I'll show you how you can accept credit card payments using Stripe in Node.js and React.js. So let's get started. So let me show you a quick demo first. First of all, we will go on the Stripe documentation page and grab ourselves a test credit card for the sandbox mode. Of course, when you are in production mode, you will need a normal credit card. So let me copy one right here, go back to my page, enter it, and then I'll enter a random amount. Let's say I want to do two dollars. Of course, this is fake money, it won't charge you anything, and of course, you don't put your credit card here, no need to. Then I'll put my email, or you can put in your random email, it doesn't affect anything. Then I'll put my full name. Again, you can put whatever you want here, but just so you can understand how it works. Then this has to be any future date from now and a random SPS. So let me click submit. And backend sends me some data. Uh, that doesn't matter right now. I'll explain it in a bit. So let's go back to Stripe. And as you will see, test mode is on. So you will see my sandbox payments. So if I refresh the page, you should see $2. So let's go on code and let me explain to you how it works. Okay, so first of all, for the front end, I'm using a React final form credit card example that I found. I'll have the link down in the description if you want it by itself. So I got the UI already. And then I added some inputs like the amount so we can have a dynamic amount and also the email because we require that. So let's go in code. So first of all, we have a use effect. And whenever the page loads, what I do is create a Stripe script and I give it my publishable key so where you find that key you ask so you'll go to your stripe page let's see so whenever you log in you'll be on this page right here so from this page go on top right right here you'll find developers click it and then go to api keys on your left and then you'll find here your publishable key and secret key. Secret key we will use it on the back end so we can make, make the actual payment. What we do on the front end is create a token, which I'll show you how we do that. So on submit, we say window.stripe, so we use stripe. And then we do dot card dot create token, so we create a card token, credit card or debit card or just a card token. And we give it a number, the number, the 4242, the expiration month, the expiration year, the SVS, and the name. It has many more fields. You can check the documentation, which I'll have down in the description. And you will see what other fields you can enter there. So after that is done, we have a, a status and response here. So if the status is 200, so if everything goes well, what we do is axios.post and we post on our backend and we give it the token, so the response, the email from the input and as well the amount. And then from the backend, I send the success data and then I'll alert it right here. But you can do whatever you want afterwards. And here you can handle the error. I didn't do that because I want you to practice this. You can do whatever you want. I don't want you to do something that I do. And here I have my form. So let's go on the back end. So the back end, we go to index. And what we do on the back end, on the front end, we created a token. And what that token has is some information about the credit card. So all the information that we put it on the credit card, that token has. And 
here in the backend what we will do is first of all we say stripe the customers and we create a customer with the token id and the token name so our name like the username right here and we also give it our email so here you'll put your your own secret stripe key of course i recommend you use .hinv file but for simplicity i just put it right here and then on the dot then what we do is we create a charge when we we specify the amount here but what stripes requires you to do is multiply that by 100 and that's what i do and then for description that's whatever you want to do so just enter payment description so what i did is payment for usd and the amount by the way here i did parse int but we don't want to do that if we have commas in our number so if the amount is 1030 then we don't want to do that because we don't want to charge 10 instead of 1030 so i changed it to parse float that was a mistake and for customer when we create a customer then we give it the customer id by the way when you build a like a big site and you want the user to save their credit card so they don't have to enter it every time in theory what you will do is create a customer right here once so have an have another api that you will create a customer and then you will have the customer data and here you have the credit card info as well so just by the customer id i can charge whatever one wants so i don't need the car the credit card again so i can have this as a known as its own api so then when everything goes well i have the charge info and the charge it was successfully so i send the charge data to the front end and here we handle any errors of course i recommend you use alerts so if any error happens you alert that to the user your own way or by using stripes errors so yeah that's mostly it again my recommendation is if you have a huge app and you want to save the credit card uh, the credit card of the user you can create a customer once and then just reuse customer id here and you don't need his credit card again you don't need to ask their credit card again so that's mostly it i hope you enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching I'll really appreciate if you hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of my future videos.